Welcome back viewers to another episode of the Legacy of Skanderbeg. We are playing the Ottomans like a fiddle. Well, not really. Our Egyptian provinces are being the perfect bait. By bait I mean look at all this, this is the entirety of the Ottoman army. And the Ottomans seem to love a trend so much they just lost like 4,000 men over here for no apparent reason. Actually a lot more than 4,000 men. We, in fact let's actually have a look. They have lost 68,000. 8,940 of which are to attrition. Well, we've actually lost 70,000 to attrition, so uh, we can't talk, clearly. <laughs> oh man. Still, Ottomans are very enthusiastic about this, but everything along the Greek coastline is currently being occupied, so things are looking up for us. Now, Ragusa is not too happy with us. Uh, have we maxed our relations with them? We might have. No, we haven't. We're still improving. Uh, let's make sure we have a royal marriage. Okay, we do have a royal marriage with Bosnia. That's right, I can't royal marriage with Goose, which is a big problem because royal marriage is one of the best ways of keeping them in line. I always prefer if they weren't a freaking republic, but... Oh well, uh, what, what I can do is of course do development to decrease limbering desire, because I could do with that 5k uh, helping me out here. S Alternatively, I can spend prestige, but I don't have a prestige to spend, so I can't do that. That seems just like a good idea. I mean, am I a hell military tech right now? I am... I am? But I am trying to do a military... Uh, what do you call idea group right now, as well as, well as a diplomatic idea group. Uh. Oh well, I'm going to go ahead and spend a military point anyway. Now Ragusa should be loyal. And that'll be good. Okay, these... This diplomat that's free now can go and improve with say Poland or something, or maybe even Austria. I mean, Austria surely eventually will stop wanting my land. <laughs> right? <laughs> right guys? Oh. oh, that's not good. Huh, that's not good. Well, hopefully one of my uh, allies will help me out here. But that's gonna be really bad for my income. I currently have eight loans. I don't actually see that number up there before. I didn't realize you could just read that and see how many loans you have. But yeah, eight loans, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, these guys are still going to head to the Gulf of Cyprus. We'll have you head to Benghazi. Okay, let's unpause and continue. And I am tempted to just reduce my maintenance right now. Oh wow, even if I do my maintenance, I'm still losing man money. Why is that? This is insane. What can I do to try... Oh, I know, what, I know what I can do. Kosovo. Kosovo shall save me. How much the cost to develop this? 50 diplo points. I can develop it three times. Let's do it. There. That should help my money situation slightly because this Kosovo is a gold mine. I didn't mention before Kosovo is very important, but well, this is why it's a gold mine. If I can develop this, I mean, this problem by itself making me 2.31 ducats a month. I need every single bit of money I can get out of it. Okay, these four troops, uh, Ottomans occupy Rash Garib, sure. Which means these troops are probably going to start heading north. By then, hopefully, we'll have occupied everything here. Saxony declared on Braunschweig, okay. This fleet's still chasing me, but it's going to be too late. So everything's going to be fine. I'm now in Benghazi. Safe and sound. My free diplomat. I shall... Uh, I wonder where I can change, where I can ditch Naples' arrival. I imagine it won't be for a long time. So I can ditch them, I can get the alliance with Hungary and I'll feel much safer. Uh, I'm going to just improve relations with Hungary anyway. Okay, yep, they're heading back up north. Taking a tradition while they're doing so, because why not? They're the Ottomans. They're cool like that. They can afford it. We'll take another loan. 19 ducats, holy shit. Uh, wait, 9 ducats? I can use that to pay off some of these smaller loans. Oh well. Let's not think too much about it. I'm still losing money. Upgrading a gold mine didn't do nearly as much as I would like. What I could actually do further is reduce autonomy here, but I can't do it while I'm at war. Because that will even further... Uh, 
after a minute. Yeah, of course they have. Oh shit. Huh, I was lost a uh, light ship. Because of course I did. I just shipped Dr. Venetia. Freaking Venetian separatists, huh? It might be worth turning on this fort just to slow them down. Ooh, what's this? National decision. Passed the Vasmo Religion Act. Plus one natural unrest, plus one mystery strength. Yeah, nah. I can make Ferrara like me. I want to eat Ferrara, but for now, I'm certainly no, in no position to eat anybody, so... Why not? Let's do it. Make Ferrara like us. Ragusa, I believe this is really... Uh, let's bring you back anyway. This is kept as it's going to be, really. Ferrara? Let's improve. Okay, that army has gone, so... I'm going to... Uh, attach... Let's go back out here. Okay, I see one boat here. It's gonna be gone by the time I get there. And I'm gonna see if I can retake Ros Rosetta and be a nuisance on the Ottoman side again. Because that's what we do, right? We annoy the crap out of the Ottomans. Now, is anyone following me? I don't think so. I think they're all moving left. So, let's have these four land Rosetta. Uh oh, he's coming. He's coming. To get to a go for Bomba takes me till the 22nd of October. 22nd of October, 19th of October. So, in the worst case, I can't get out. If he does come for me. I suspect he is going to come for me. My troops will land on the 21st of October. Okay, troops have landed. Let's get out. Yep, they're coming for me. And I think soon enough we're going to see an army arrive over here somewhere. Now, fortunately, I'm going to have to okay, uh, do some funky running around the circle again. Fortunately, the AI seems to go where you were last instead of actually where you are. Which is a little poor on their part. But who's to complain, really? He's going to arrive in the Bay of Alexandria, 4th of November. I'll get here. 1st of November, get here for November, so we're going to go for Cyprus now. Oh, Sonic is ours. Awesome. Let's go and siege down Anabolo as well. We see a 32k stack heading up this way. There is an Austrian army of 33,000 here, and there is a Memigan and Aegean army of something over here. I think this is fine. For now. For now. I'm gonna have these three head to Sophia and you two. So Sophia, uh, Uskop and Kersi. I'm gonna give this over to my vassal so I don't have to pay for it because I can't. I'm too poor. I do need to do something about this, but unfortunately until this war's over, I can't actually send troops from Netia since the rebels occupy it and Ottomans are blocking the strait. That part sucks a lot. How long do I have before they deflect anyway? I'm terribly able to teleport over, that's actually a good thing, I think. Independence. 59 months. So we have something like 5 years to finish this war and deal with those rebels. There's two armies here? Huh. Weird. Uh, you guys go over to Kirk's, Kirk Lease and just stand there as backup. Yep, all the armies are coming down this way. Let's spread out. One of you stay here, one of you go there, one of you go there, one of you go there. And I should be able to go to Rush Garib as well, so the only thing that'll be left is Cairo. Distraction tactics. That's all I can say. But that said, with just me Ottomans, I think I, I'm actually better off having you go there. And I said I was going to give this to a vassal, so let's do that. I'm going to give this to. Uh, let's give it to Ragusa. Ragusa's rich. Well, they should be the freaking Merchant Republic. Oh shit. I stopped paying attention to my boats. Uh oh. If I can get out forth. Am I going to lose all my boats? Hopefully not. I lost one boat. Adirn is ours. 
I'll give that over to Ragusa as well. 32,000, standing over there. Two, three, did not currently try to cross. If I can get out, run away. He is still heading north. You can go to uh, Rosh Garib. I'm going to appoint a general here. And you are going to fill a bay. Good. Uh, you two. I don't know why you're doing nothing. Go to uh, Curse Ray and Yanya. Constantinia has fallen. I'm gonna give that over to Ragusa as well. Where are you, Ragusa? If you go there. Now the Austrians are gonna want to cross soon. Albania occupied Algarabia. Cool. Where's my other general? Over there. Okay, let's just stand on the shores here. Uh, you stay there. You go to Constantinia. Austria occupies Sof Sofia. Uh, whatever. Uh, you go here. It's occupying everything. Uh, you go down to Aten. Albania occupied Dumyat. Okay. Go to here. When you are done, I'm going to take the general away, because you don't need a general. Okay, they're about across 55,000. That is utterly terrifying. The Austrians are going to be here. I'm going to be here. Bring it on. They should take a straight crossing now. They, the general is a 411 or 221. Either way, they only have one maneuver. Our leader is a 333. I think I want you in charge, though. Okay, good. Aladon, the first human die. Okay, let's make sure all you guys are doing something. So you, no leader, you go to Senai, you go to Jerusalem, and you no, know, you go to Gaza. Someone is going to Gaza, right? Okay, you go to Gaza. Okay, let's have Aladon, the first human die, in charge. It's going to be beautiful. When they get locked, I'm going to send the second army across, and I have a third army? No, I don't. Okay, where are the Austrians leaving? The Austrians shouldn't leave for a little while. 5th of January, you will arrive, train of December. Five days. Cool. And I'll just come in with reinforcements as soon as I can. I just want the fight to go on for a little bit first, because I believe this is already full combat width. Combat width right now is 24. The Liegeans will leave on 29th. So actually, even our Legion, the Liegeans will be here fighting. So we're going to definitely have full combat with. We have something like 30-something thousand Austrians, plus everyone else at least another 20-something thousand. So we definitely feel the combat with. I'm going to send reinforcements in uh, bit by bit. This is not even the full Ottoman army. It's still another Ottoman army marching up somewhere. This is just like two-thirds of it. Still. Uh, just in case, I'm going to have you head to Salonique, uh, and you two to head to Salonique as well, in case we need extra reinforcements. Let's double check, and Adon, the first Harundai. Let the battle commence. I'm under attack, we are 70,000 against 54,000. Like I said, full combat with. They have cannons in the back row, but they are pretty worthless right now, they had to take a straight crossing. Their leader has the siege ability, plus 15%, which is kind of terrifying because Ottomans, uh, if I can show you, get this. During the Age of Discovery, the guns of Urban, <laughs> plus 33% siege ability. So that's pretty terrifying if they actually get a siege or anything, but hopefully they're not going to be able to. So by the way, we roll a 9. A 9? Wait. Where's their fire? 411. Okay, that's fine because our tech level right now is only... 7, so far it doesn't worth much. That's okay, so we roll 9 to the 6. Just avoid, the several yards are going to reinforce first, that's fine. I'll probably give it a, low, a few more days before I reinforce myself. First shock phase, come on. First shock phase. A 9 to a 2, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Beat those Ottomans back across the Strait of the Bosphorus. 
Okay, a 6 to the 6. Okay, I'm going to start reinforcing with 15,000. I don't think we need it. Our morale is still holding it up, sort of. But either way, let's, let's reinforce anyway, just to be sure. Second shock phase, a 9 to the 5. Kill those Ottoman scum. Send them packing. Austria occupied stuff, whatever. <laughs> stuff is happening in the background, yes. <laughs> That's basically what I just said. Uh, you guys go occupy the rest of Greece. We don't need more reinforcements for this. In fact, you guys can actually stop marching. Uh, just come back to Constantinia. We've won this fight. A 9 <laughs> to their 5. Oh yes. You got cannons? We got raw skill and manpower. <laughs> We're on zero, but that's okay, because that's still a three to the negative two. Uh, that's slightly unfortunate, but I think it's too late for it to make too much of a difference. And next rock phase is a seven to the three. Murder all those Ottoman scum. Make them pay for every last... I don't know. <laughs> that speech kind of like dwindled away there. Either way, we won this fight. Okay, so we killed 18,000 Ottomans. We only suffered around 12 to 13,000 casualties ourselves. And a battlefield medic, our general, our glorious leader, Eladon, the first Hyundai is a battlefield medic. Interesting. Now they do have another army somewhere around here. Right there. Right there. Let's see what he decides to do. Austria, I need you to not run away. Albania occupy Rashka Reeb, yes I know. Let's go occupy uh, over here, Kudos, and where's Jerusalem. Austria, please don't run away, I need your help. Albania occupy Napolis. Okay, go occupy this over here. Losing one ship that's, is slightly unfortunate though. Ah oh, well, can't be helped. That was basically my fault for not paying attention. Albania occupied Cena. Okay. Um, go occupy this. Okay, so who's currently attached over here? I don't know. Planet, Bosnia, Albania. Okay, and who's attached over here? Ragusa and Salzburg. Let's make sure both sides have a leader. Hmm, I hope Austria doesn't send its entire army to go and siege down this one four, because that'd be foolish. That'd be beyond foolish, even. Curious though, where the heck are the Ottomans? I think what might be happening right now is they're coming back down here to deal with my little incursion to the lands of Egypt again. This is a great distraction, I gotta say. It's working out pretty well. Oh, and I see Hungary's army is running away from the Polish. And the Teutons are technically winning, but I suspect the only reason for that is because they hold a war goal. From 24 battles, minus 7. Teutons, gotta get your shit together, man. I might lose that one troop. Albania occupied Athena. Great. We've improved as much as we can with Bohemia. I need to find someone who hates Naples as much as I do. Pope man. <laughs> this wouldn't that be hilarious? I purposely moved away from Catholicism, and yeah, I could come back begging to a Pope man for a line, but it's not going to work out because Pope man only has one province left, Rome. So it's not very helpful. Tunis might be an ally though. Maybe. Unlikely. Albania is at war. Tunisian opinion about Albania minus a thousand. Okay, well, who else hates me? Well, who else do I have rivaled at least? I forgot Mamluk's rivaled. Mantua rivaled, okay. Mantua. Venice, very funny. Ferrara, I'm currently improving with you, but it's not gonna be that helpful. Wow, Fazan has grown quite a bit. Mamluks, who hates Mamluks? Karakiyunlu, terrible ally. Ethiopia. So far, South I can't even see them. Yeah, that's not good. Alliances straw are hard. How about who hates the Ottomans? France does. Hey, France. 
Protect me. I'm scared. Uh, just to make things clear, I'm threatened by Austrians as well. So, Bohemia, come on. Bohemia and France. I'll improve France next. Something might come of it. Uh, you two. We can't cross that straight, but that's fine. Come back over here. Albania occupy Yanya. Okay. You go to Edirne. Albania occupy Bellabada. Badra. Mamluks has a piece of Mercuria. We'll see Kazar Abrim. That's it. You're pathetic. That's all you took. That's all you took. You could have at least taken also this as well. That is so pathetic. I'm disappointed in you. I'm actually, I actually am. Great Hall declared on Crimea reconquest. Great Hall ain't that great anymore. I wonder if Muscovy is willing. I need to improve Muscovy as well. I think after I max up relations with Hungary, I probably need to top up relations with Austria just to make sure that things go well there. By things go well, I mean they don't actually declare war on me the moment this war is over. This is so wrong. This whole thing is just so wrong. <laughs> Uh, you guys get back over here. We need to protect Adern. Also, I really do suspect the Ottomans are currently over here. In fact, I'm gonna send one boat out there to scout. In case they are coming. Novgorod have a peace with Denmark. Novgorod still barely exists. Huh. It's a one province minor in Karelia. With three development. Good job. Also, wow, look at this. Are you two still subjects of Denmark? Yes. And yes. Huh. That's interesting because I very rarely see Denmark give any land to their subjects and yet they gave cola to Norway. Weird. That said, it did take Neva and uh, Kex home over here. Well, with a scout boat. This is, not def this is definitely not the best boat for scouting. Uh, whatever. The enthusiasm is on medium. Oh, hi. Uh, how about I just politely get out of your way, okay? And you head back here. I mean, I knew they probably were coming down here. And I was right. Unfortunately, yeah, we don't have a way of getting around. Oh well. We are still losing money. Can't be helped. They're chasing me. I can evacuate three of them, which means one of them has to go somewhere else. Send gift. Ottomans receive a gift from Fazan. Fazan, don't give Ottomans money. Come on. Did the Ottomans? Aren't they like filthy rich? Actually, are they filthy rich right now? Uh, Ledger. Well, for one thing, the army, if anything, has grown in size. They don't give a shit. Look at that, they have 22,000 cannons. Oh, they're on low enthusiasm. Fascinating. I'm gonna keep this war going though, because the longer this war goes on for, the worse off the Ottomans will be. And that's definitely a good thing uh, for me. In fact, the Golden Age may have been wasted. Or maybe it hasn't, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Okay, he's stopping by. Cool. Perhaps all of the armies was to go that way as well. There's absolutely no loot left over here, which is hilarious. In fact, there's no loot left at all on this entire coastline. Uh, oh, that's probably not due to me. It's probably due to the freaking knights. They're stealing all the money with their raiding coasts. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Ottomans. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you probably shouldn't do it. 30th of April, I'll get it on 1st of May. Okay, so going forward, that is concerning. Hey, Austria, hop out, buddy. Who do I have in charge here? A glorious leader. 222. Two, two. If that's all they're sending, we should be able to win, but if they send any more than that, we're going to be in trouble. Still, the battle is going to happen in two days' time. Down here, I'm going to uh, attach you to a boat and have you go to Benghazi. 
and let's watch this battle. Okay, we've engaged. Our army is under attack. We are severely outnumbered. That's okay. We're at 7, 2 to 3 on the first fire phase. Now, the first rock phase is... 5 to the negative 2. Not bad. Are you helping out? Yes, you are, Planet. Planet is coming down. You can see some boys coming down. Ragusa is coming down. Excellent. Ottomans occupied Nablus. We have to start evacuating. Uh, you guys. As much of, of you as possible. Go to Benghazi. Hopefully no one chases you. Okay, there's far phase. There's the second truck phase. A 4 to the 0. Okay, I mean, it's not glorious rolls, but it's not bad. Send them packing. We took around 2,000 casualties, and we did like 6,000 back to them. Not bad at all. Half of you go back to Constantinia. Uh, so we suffer casualties, I know. We're losing money. Yes, I realize that. Fortunately, the fleet seems to not care anymore. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Okay, Austria. Get your collective asses over here and help me out. Why are all of you sitting around here waiting for this uh, 4 to 4? Oh boy. Well, let's consolidate regiments and let's do this. I'm going to make sure the correct general is used by... I mean, who's actually better? I think you might actually be better simply due to the fact that you have uh, this special perk. Shock damage received minus 10%. So I'm actually going to unappoint our glorious leader in favor of him. So we have a very good general though. He is a 4-1-1. He's going to arrive 21st of May. Austria is still not responding. You are going to arrive in Nagbolo in 29th of May and 25th of May, which means they'll probably head down and help me out in probably half a month's time. But that'll be for next time, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for more of The Legacy of Skunderbag. Until then, see you later.